Okay, um, this is an old base that I've got off of eBay um, to do a gig, a one-off gig. Um, my band was asked to turn ourselves into a backing band for someone who wanted to sing AHA covers, um, which is really cool actually. Um, so I needed a base for it. Um, I bought this fairly cheap off eBay, but I think I ended up paying too much for it actually. Um, and then I didn't really take care of it after that. Um, it ended up in the garage, um, being, you know, just exposed to all the different temperature changes um, and everything. So the neck got a bit messed up. Um, the fingerboard at the very end here started to lift up and I glued it down. It's starting to come away a little bit again. It's not perfect. Um, as well, I can never get the neck straight on it. Um, getting the right sort of action on it um, and the intonation. It's just a bit, I don't know, it just never goes properly. Um, but I'm going to try and resurrect it a bit. Um, I think it probably needs a proper shim in because the neck angle is just a bit off on it. Um, I think that's part of the problem with the neck. Well, that's more the fretboard really rather than the neck. Um, and yeah, the, the um, electronics I think probably need a bit of work on them. Um, maybe. I don't know. I've already replaced the jack socket on it. Because um, the jack socket was screwed on it. Um, but the quick simple thing I'm going to do today is just... Um, I'm not even going to do it scientifically or anything, but you can see that the strings are basically flat, there's no radius on them. So I'm going to just put a bit of a radius by lifting the action on the two middle strings, the A and the D. Um, you can hear that rattle. Part of the problem is that this is tuned to drop C, just for some stuff that I was doing, some demos. Um, and there's quite light strings on it. I don't know what gauge, but they're they're pretty light, which isn't great whenever you're in drop C. So they're flapping about all over the place anyway. Um, so yeah, so let's just find the right Allen key and raise these up. I'm not even going to do it. Um, scientifically with you know, measure the action or anything I'm just going to do it um, kind of by eye by feel so this is the right no nope. too small Let's see if I can get the right this too big it might not be the correct size in this set I'll just have to go to my random collection. So my random collection of Allen keys, hex keys, whatever you like to call them. Let's move that down so you can actually see this. Um, So, let's just raise this a little bit, put a bit of a profile on, a bit of a radius on the strings to kind of match the fretboard. I don't even know what radius this is, it's, um, it's fairly flat I think, but then again that might just be... One of the problems that I had with, with this bass was getting the action low enough, which is why I want to change the neck angle, or the, the angle of the neck. Um, these just I'd screw the saddles right down to the bottom and the action would still be quite high, um, which points to something being wrong. Um, so if I change the neck angle a bit, 
put a bit of an angle on it with a the shim then that will help um, with the action and I'll be able to not have these screwed right down to the bottom it'll just be a bit better so Um, so yeah, what I will probably do with this base, um, if I can get the neck sorted out on it, it's actually a decent enough base, it's a bit, I'm little, got short arms, small hands and short fingers, so this base is a bit big for me, um, that's why I'm working on the SG base, the short scale, ideally it would be somewhere in between um, a 30 inch and a 34 inch scale I think this is a 34 inch scale length um, yeah if I could get that sorted then I would actually hang on to this base and maybe put some new pickups in it um, you know because the neck if the neck was okay but the neck might just be beyond rescue really for any serious work um, probably do maybe the not I don't know the not action is actually alright the not action may even be a little high I don't know but it's this end of the fingerboard that is the problem um, I think that it is the wood has actually shrunk at that end of it um, and it's just yeah, it's just sitting proud and I don't know how to fix that now that you know I glued it with some tight bond and clamped it down but it seems to have started lifting again but it's not I don't think I'd ever be able to separate it cleanly to glue it again properly you know and short of taking the whole fingerboard off which I, is way beyond my per skill level I don't think there's any hope for it but we'll see maybe we can make it playable